Ricco. Hi, I'm Rick Hartwig, Senior Director of Marketing at Motorola, and this is the Motorola Atrix. It's the world's most powerful smartphone, and we're saying that for several different reasons. The first is that it's the only phone and the first phone to ship with the dual core processor. So it will have two 1 gigahertz processors going side by side, which not only delivers information faster, but allows for better multitasking and saves on battery life, because one of the application processors can shut down when not being used. Next, it runs over an HS HSPA Plus network like AT&T's 4G HSPA Plus network and it also has a gigabyte of RAM which is up to four or six times larger than most of the smartphones out there today. So that's how it delivers an incredibly fast experience. Next, it actually is improved resolution. This is the world's first QHD display. Measuring it at 960 by 540 on a four inch screen, this delivers 20% more viewable area than a three and a half inch screen and 35% more pixels than most AMOLED screens out there today. Given that this isn't an AMOLED screen, it's much brighter in sunlight as well. Then we improved the resolution also on the cameras. We've got a front-facing VGA camera, and then on the back, we've got a high-definition video camera. So similar to your flip, you can record in high definition and then view on a very bright, crisp QHD display. On the back here, you're also going to notice that it's got a fingerprint sensor, so that also doubles it as the power button. So you can simply just swipe your finger, and you no longer need to dial a four, six, or eight digit pin code. It simply gets you right into making your phone call fast. The device has up to 48 gigabytes of memory. It comes with 16 on board, with a 32 gig optional SD card that you can install in there. And it has improved security because it supports Moto Blur. So you can locate any lost device on the web, you can remotely erase it, and you can uh, restore all of your information by uh, simply inputting a single username and password, and all of your connectivity, your Twitter, your Facebook, your email, your exchange, all comes back to this device. So that's just the spe specifications of how powerful the device is. Now I'll tell you about two other applications which we're releasing day two. The first is the Motorola WebTop application. This actually takes this PC level of hardware and turns it into a full computer. You can get to the WebTop application using any of Motorola's docks that are made for this phone. The first is the Motorola Laptop Dock. So this is me actually measuring at 14 millimeters thin. It is a battery, a keyboard, a display, and a mouse pad, and stereo speakers. It is just a dock, so there is no processing or memory in here. What I would then do is something like this, is dock it in this little tray, and as soon as I open the display, it will take five or six seconds, and it will open into a full computing environment. Stop. So what you'll see here is on the left-hand side, I'm actually going to have my phone view, which we were just looking at. Oops, one second. So I looked over from the last demo. What this actually displays is two scenarios. One is the phone view, which is the Motorola Android phone, and then the actual other side will be the web top. If you just pause one second, I'll get this up. Again. Nah, go ahead. We, we, I, we love mistakes on this. What's that? We, my, we do mistakes all the time on this, so uh, we have fun. You can just bam. Okay, that's a great idea. <laughs> what about your tablet also? Same form factor for your tablet? No, actually the Zoom tablet is um, over there, and I believe over there too. We've got them all over the place, so you can find somebody that has one. They can give you a demonstration. But, um, one second, as well. So what are you looking for now? Oh, so right now I'm actually pulling up the mobile phone view. Now, um, what I'll show you, we can do this out of order and you can put it together however you want. But um, the solution actually supports Citrix desktop virtualization. So for IT managers that actually have that support in their IT center, you can actually run a full Windows 7 solution simply by dialing back into the IT center that actually supports that with licenses that they have. So you could run a Windows 7 environment or a Mac environment or however those licenses work. The actual view I'll show you here in a second. Um, I have to log off of this, is the actual web top application. It's consisting of two components again. On the left hand side it will have the Android phone application. So with the Android OS from this environment I'll be able to run any of the hundreds of thousands of Android applications that are available today. And that'll be on this side. So I can go in and uh, 
instead of doing a search, show you the home screen here. And you can see this is actually swipeable, so I can go in and I can navigate. I can run any Android application. I can go into the desktop uh, application train here or come out of it and be on a phone call, send text messages. That's all available. And you know, I can even expand it to full screen and rotate it. The other thing that I can do is I can go over here, and this is a full Firefox web browser. So this isn't a mobile browser. This is a computer-grade Firefox browser, 3.6.13, supporting Adobe Flash 10. So you can get access to any any web page and any type of uh, interact with it in the way that you want to as well. Like many computers, you can actually uh, toggle between multiple windows and multiple applications simply by going like this and coming back to your email, your calendar, or anything that you happen to be working on at the time. And as a, uh, as a business user, you'd be able to do this on the train, and when you get to your office, you can imagine that this is actually your uh, computer monitor, and you can dock it into what we have is the HD dock. This will act similarly as a docking station. So with the... Um, I can program the docking station to automatically launch into any environment that I want. I was going to say, you might want to go on the other side of the screen. Oh, okay. There you go. I can program the, the device to behave specifically to this docking station with any of, any of the uh, available applications that we have for it. And I can go into my office and be up and running again in this web top environment. Does now, the screen come out of the keyboard? Did I see this screen here? The yeah, yeah, yeah. To your right? Yeah. Just one second. I'll finish this. The um, other thing that I can do if I have a HD television in my living room, as you can see when I pulled this out, goes right back to the phone call or whatever I was doing on the solution. If I have filmed something with the HD camera or downloaded something from the internet in high definition video, audio, or pictures, I can use this for the other application which we're talking about here at CES, which is the entertainment center. This is an Apple TV type media player where it doesn't record shows on, from your television, but it allows you to use this infrared remote control from your couch and simply go to any of the music, pictures, or video that you might have recorded and display them in full high definition. So you can navigate forward and backwards using this infrared okay, remote please, please. in full high definition. So, between the entertainment center, the web top application, the lap dock, and the, all the specifications of the super phone that we have called the Motorola Atrix, that's why we're saying it's the most powerful smartphone in the world.